Thank you so much for joining me as Game Mage. We're back in Near Death, and yes, there's tons of little things here and there that I might have missed on the last one. But that's what you get for doing a full day's work and coming in to record a video a little later than expected, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Sometimes the streams went a little later, but that's okay. We're going to be fine. We're going to just try this out. There's supposed to be a crafting menu and stuff I missed, but we're going to go through it again. This was just a first look at it, and I never really tried it before, so we're going to give it a full shot now. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so as you can hear, we crash landed, and this is going to be one hell of a party. Now, the first one, we actually went through most of this, so we're not going to bother as much. I did lower the uh, amount of light, so this should be a little more darker, and you guys will see better than I can, so please be patient to understand it. After post-red ring, you guys see a whole lot better than I can actually see at the current time, so yeah, it'll make it easier. Now, let's see if we can actually get this here. Now, I'll turn off the flashlight. Door. go. And with this closed, we right now have a portable heater, which we're going to grab, and we also have our kerosene. And there's a meter there on the top right, which a few of you have mentioned, and yes, it does work. So well, let's look at that. It's nice and full. We'll leave it the way it is. And we're going to turn this off, too. Here, there's nothing we can do at the beginning. We can't even check the actual drawers and stuff. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure if we can come back after we start opening up things to come back for this stuff, but right now we can't. So we're going to make our way out of here. Open up our flashlight again, and we're gonna head to towards the light. Where was that light again? Oh, there it is. Can't open this either. No. This is where you came from, right? Yep. All right, so we'll walk up here. We'll double check to see what's going on, and we should be able to hit this. Now we've actually crashed landed. There's this is abandoned. Three tips of all the time. Okay, cool. We're just gonna get ourselves to some warmth. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Antarctic. She's a freezing. I don't blame her. It looks really cold. Open, close. Yeah, she's freezing really big time. So we're gonna do is gonna press two here, and we're just gonna put this down. Cold. And it'll warm myself up. Which a nice little kerosene warm up. There we go. Okay. Better. We're all good. Good. The meter is going down really fast, and the batteries go down really quick on this, so we'll try and avoid as much as we can usage of these. I don't know if, how many returns and all, but we can't find anything in this one. That's right, there's nothing we can actually pick or do here at the beginning. It only starts in the next one, which is kind of odd. They should have changed that up, but personally. My own personal opinion. Yeah, that's out there. is telling us what we have to do next, make contact. We're going to have to do that right away, and that's up here. So anytime right now, we can actually just press tab, as you can see, and actually check the actual, uh, right here, the contact Murdoch and report your situation. Here's a battery flashlight portable and other things here. So you got battery flashlights and other kind of things here so we can actually go through it. And we'll have to figure out all the rest as we go through. Now we have a kerosene and stuff here. That's good. We can roll through their mouse. That's nice. And M for map does not work, so a lot of you were mentioning that. I don't know if this picks up afterwards. I didn't see it at the beginning. It's probably the reason why I didn't see it afterwards. Radio rooms up there. There's nothing here, right? It's just a bathroom with all empty lockers. And yeah, toilet, broken mirror. Cool. Nothing on the shelves. All right, let's get our butts upstairs. Oh, I know it's cold. I know how this feels because we've had this weather all last week. <laughs> Let me tell you how cold that is. That is friggin' cold. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. 
chill, chill, chill. Oh, actually, no. Warm, warm, warm. All right, there we go. Come on. Better. Now, this kerosene lamp takes... It goes really quick. You gotta be very careful with it. All right, we're gonna walk up to this teletype. And same thing as last time here. This is Mac Town. You were there. Last communication of plane rerouted and comes in Sutro. Hoping you made it. Made there, did you? I survived. Alive and landing a successful injury. Uh, not injured and plane grounded in operable uh, Sutro station. Place in disrepair. Copy. Message received. Glad you're all right. I am. All right. An optimistic assessment. This is you, Jack. Yeah, hi. Situation is. Um, difficult, but we're going to get through this. <laughs> Great. What is your circumstances uh, at Sutra? Well, uh, there's no personnel here at the current time. Place deserted. Need to search and rescue extraction. Like to be where we, uh, now, where, where is everyone? Bad news, the Sutra to commission goodish. News is that the only phase one completed. Some supplies still on site. We're investigating search and rescue options. DCOM team left January running at a minimal capacity, so systems shouldn't be locked up. Advise locating power, building generators, and restoring main power. So we gotta get out of here somehow. We gotta find our way out of here. That's a true survival game here. Don't know if this situation where are the generators. Unsure, sorry. How would you not know that? Still digging up the Sutro documentation. To look for in a uh, station map. Okay, so we need to find a station map. That's good. And it's possible the diesel stacks on a roof. Okay, and remember, you need me. I'm here. Good for you. I'll find him. Can be advised on search and rescue. S and R. All right. So that is the next step. We have to make ourselves go in here. Sometimes they go back to us. Just find generator. I don't know why we have to do that. Uh, find advice and search and rescue. I'll report back to you and stand by. Cool. We will do that. We will double check it. No, that's just teletype. I thought there was a book there next to it. There is a notebook. All right. We are doing a little bit of a dark thing. We're going to pick up things now as we go through it. We can also probably search. We cannot search anything. That's kind of shitty. Yeah, portable heater goals and map. Now map shows up. Dismiss. You see, I did not see the map. Initially, it's because I, I, that's what I did. I, the compass and left and it always points towards the direction you're facing. Use the orient to yourself before traveling between locations. Sounds like a good plan. Very good plan. All right. We found batteries for the light. We could actually reuse this light. We can actually just fill up the batteries on him just by changing them. Obviously, with the cold, I guess they must die really quick. I can turn this on. Hold on. It's going to get loud. But nothing happens. There is no communication between anybody. Chair is a very flimsy place. And there's nothing on the walls or anything else we can use. Any books or anything else here that we can use to help ourselves? We cannot. All right. All right. We're going to warm ourselves up before we leave. We do have one kerosene left. So we'll have to be careful not to overdo Better. it. Better. I like hearing that. Thank you very much. We're going to get our butts out of here. We can actually use the map. We're pressing M now with that open. I guess craftable must show up right afterwards. Uh, we are currently here. Where are we? Radar outposts. Communications right here. We got to go here to power, so we're going to go straight out of here. All right, so it should be that direction, right? While I do that, I'm just going to turn off the flashlight. It is north we have to go. We are not north. So north is on the other side here. So we're going to have to go right about here, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be straight shot from comms all the way up. There's fuel on the left and power on the right. There's also the hab thing. I don't know what that is yet. We haven't gone there. Uh, we'll check that out afterwards. We'll first try to follow through what we have to do here. All right, let's turn on our flashlight so we can see the door. All right, that's all broken here. This is not good. We've got to make our way as fast as we possibly can and out of here. And here you go. Power is to your left and have bar. Okay, so there's a bar. I am making it run for it. And power is to right. There we go. Oh, I know it's cold. I, I'm behind you 110%. That is cool. This uh, door is all frozen at the current time. I suppose we can use a blowtorch from some people who are saying. Uh, that's a good news. Uh, we could just go and die when it says big power to start off with. Let's open her up. 
we do have... Oh, there's no power in here. It really is our flashlight. All right, let's pick up some duct tape, some uh, canvas, and uh, some uh, kerosene, which is extremely helpful. Search crate. And kerosene and wiring. All right, we're... we're that's that's very good. Let's search Come desk. Oh, we found... Uh, what? Wiring? Wiring's good. I think. I'm sorry it's bright, guys, but that's part of the flashlight. All right, we're going to put this down. She's getting uberly cold. I don't think there's any windows broken here. No, good. The only way this kerosene lamp will work, uh, heater, sorry, it will work is if you have uh, no windows broken. That's better. You okay now? You sound like you're okay. Good, because uh, we've got to hurry up a bit. All right, there's nothing you can search here. The boxes and crates are all here. I'm just checking to see if there's anything inside there. Nothing on the bottom or anything else like it. The long dark where they hide things everywhere. It doesn't seem like they're hiding anything here. Uh, there's something on the ground there, but it looks like a paper. Let's open this up. Now here it's open. Uh, search desk. What do we find of clamps and plastic ties. Alright, that's good. That's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. We'll take it. Nothing here, nothing there. Yeah, we can ex we can close up if we really need to. We're not going to waste any of the stuff we don't need to until we're 100% sure. Uh, this room we're going to need because we're going to have to talk, but... Come on. I know. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Come on. Be a little patient. All right. Wood chill, I guess, gets cut down. Uh, uh, recharge it. Yes. Okay. Uh, absolutely. So, some resources can be out in time, so you have to recharge it by pressing R. Like, low battery. Like we're experiencing currently. All right. Let's just see here. And crafting now. <laughs> so, here you go. Window pitch. We can actually craft a window pitch now. We, we need... I think creative, right? One duct tape and uh, two canvas, right? Yep, we can do that. Let's have one of those made. Window patch. Oh, I said pitch, patch. So cold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you have to freeze like this. We do have kerosene and other things too in our inventory, so we're doing pretty good. We can kind of keep ourselves. Okay, that's better. We have three batteries, three kerosene, plastic ties, windows patch, which we just made, wiring, kerosene, and flashlight, clamp. So I think that's we're going to have to utilize that to fix that generator, which we saw last time. That is something. Now, we can't pick up this. We're going to let the battery die until it's pretty much dead, dead. Not kind of cheap. I don't want to waste anything. Let's check the lockers. Mm, canvas and wiring. We're not going to say no to that. Anything else on these shelves I would have missed by mistake? Nothing at all. These things can't turn. I know we cannot pick up that wrench. I know somebody asked that in the comp fields. That is a no-no. All right. I think we're going to have to reload. There we go. Let's change batteries. It does sound like it. That's pretty cool. It doesn't look like there's anything else on this desk. I'm looking for binders and stuff in case. This door is shut. And this is high voltage generator access. All right. Let's pick up some more wine. Some more sod. Clamps. I'm going to say no. All right. Here we go. Repair frayed cable. We do have a camp. No, we have nothing here to craft with a current time patch. Inventory. That's all we have. So they'll go tell me what I can actually do. All right, cool. Once I find a manual, I guess. Frayed wiring. All right, we're going to have to find that manual, though. That is not fun. Some people mentioned it's upstairs. I just missed it, but we will see. There's an opening on this side. Oh, I should have gone back and communicated with... Uh, with the other guys there, but anyways, let's open this up and pick up what we can before I have to use the kerosene. You will have a reprieve when you freeze to death, pretty much. You, uh, you, you'll have a little reprieve before it happens. It'll tell you. We can't open that up. No. She's freezing, and I need to get to a closed room, so we're gonna go back in that other room, right over here. Now, I could patch up that window right now, but I'm not sure the current time, uh, if I wanna patch it up. So we're just gonna put this down here. And let her heat herself up. I do like the glow of this. It looks really nice. Oh, it looks really cool. As long as we stay at glow, we're good. Better. Better is what I want to hear. Bingo. Shouldn't say anything. Uh, generator de defunct. Needs rewiring. I'm handy, but I'm not an electrician. Please advise. Hmm. Okay, well. Tyrone distributed an equipment manuals from the satellite station last spring. Basic emergency protocol procedures outlining within should be one of those. Uh, one should be one in the power building. By the way, Rudberg station back online and no casualties. Thank you. I'll find a manual. 
casualties. I hope they stay true. We'll look for the manual standby. Putting your heads together, focusing. I'm restoring for power for now. Okay, I'll look for manual standby for update. Update failed area wiring. Updated fine wiring. Oops. That's cool. Alright. So it says upstairs. Now somebody had mentioned that I'm just gonna warm we'll myself up completely. <sighs> because I'm gonna be hanging out to the cold. The frigid. And it's supposed to be upstairs, upstairs. So I wanna find this. It does show stairs going that way. Uh. Can we crouch? Yes, we can. Right, this one's working fine. Stairs this way. Come on. Open up. Pick up the cables. And the stairs are inoperably broken here. Yes, they're not in great shape. Not at all. And it's a workshop we were in two seconds ago. Before, right? Did I forget anything in here? I did not forget anything. Did kind of hurry my way out of here, so I just want to double check. Nope, that's good. Okay. We gotta find our way back out. Exterior. Supposedly there's a mountain or snow or something I can jump up onto there. I'm gonna hop on this one, I guess. Uh. Oh, there we go. That was a little bit smarter. There we go. Let's search the desk while we're warming ourselves up. Okay. I think we're fine. Thanks for the battery. There we go. Cool. Then there's the actual booklet. The makeshift wiring bypass kit is an unfortunately but necessary part of keeping the equipment running in Antarctica. It would be nice if you could just replace all the aging machinery with new gear, but delivery of new equipment is hard and budgets approval and harder. Okay, that's cool. Is this dead? Are you shitting me? I left it running too long. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Game edge. Alright, so we have to go and fix up the other ones. Oh, wait, there's a window patch area. Oh, that's what it is. There's a hole in here. I'm wasting it. Let's fix up this. Okay. That's an emergency fix. We'll look at it right now. So we patch it up with <sighs> our little kit, which makes it a lot easier. Come on. Okay. Better? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we did find that little manual. It's nice. And here's the actual one, which is what? The garage greenhouse. That's open. Oh, greenhouse sounds good. Uh, good night. So this is what? Green generator, orange generator. Interesting. Come on. Okay. We're okay. Nothing else in here. We've looked through all these desks, right? We have. Nothing in here, nothing in here. This goes outside. to the roof. Interesting. I'm not sure what the rationale is for this one, but hey, it is what it is. There must be a reason. We'll go and check that out afterwards. If we need to. For now, we'll close you up and get our butts in gear. myself up two seconds and then we're going to fix it up let's go and check out here uh crafting wiring bypass kit you needed a uh, one clamp one solder and one two wiring excellent so windows patch we'll make one more just have it since we have two we have more than enough i think it'd be good to have in case of emergency right. that's good repair blue generator we will do so right now I think that room had a window open, didn't it? Damn it. Did that window have a broken room? I think so. I went to the wrong one again. I really have to look around before I waste our kerosene like that. <sighs> it doesn't take long to make a mistake. Okay, that's better. Thank you. I know. I know. It was my bad. It was my bad. 
Where's the... Uh, it's in front, right? Communications? Close that. Right here. Exit. Oops. There we go. Get out of here. So what's the next step here? Let's uh, let's double check to see what we have the goals here next. Actually, blue generator in the control room beginning. Okay, we can do that very quickly. And it's nice and warm up there because we've now patched up that room. All right, found an easier way up. All right, so blue generator, you can turn yourself back on. Beautiful. When building has been powered up, the sealed rooms will then generate warmth. That is very nice. And uh, they don't tell me anymore. I, I wasn't catching that close enough. Locate the teletype. Report back to Mr. Uh, Murdoch and tell him everything's good. We're just going to warm ourselves up, buddy. I might uh, want to seal up the other room down there, but I don't want to waste too much stuff. Uh, hold off to reload that battery. Oh, it's a nice way to use kerosene now. Let's just lower yourself here. Hot key while it is equipped. We can do that, yes. Does that mean we can pick up tools? Tools? No. Damn it. Manual was a good idea. Good idea, Manuel. Help me restore partial power. To, uh, one generator is still offline. We'll, uh, when, <laughs> when I get out of here. Going to be blunt. Immediate search and rescue outlook poor. Not likely until sunrise. Sunrise? That's weeks from now. 24 hours. You're nuts. You have to try and jack. So it's a long way. Wanted to ice months ago. I stood over winter. You know, uh, skeleton crew and suffering T3 syndromes. Okay, so we're, we're not going to be rescued. I'm alone. Jack and I would appreciate help. I do, but this place is not conductive to existence. Exist. Idea next step. Still cold here. Termination conditions. Two front approaching and locations. You're going to have to bunk, hunker down until a plan devises and checks and halves. Jesus. To see uh, if available a water facility for water. Uh, okay, so we're gonna look for water. Understood. One of us gets supply situations and report back. Get back. I went to go back to that. I think the Habs area, which is that little area down the way. So we're gonna leave the episode here. We're gonna keep ourselves nice and warm in this area. And when we're gonna come back, we're gonna be heading out to the Habs and uh, we're gonna check out to see what we can find in that little bar area. Hopefully it'll be really nice. I, ho I was hoping to find rope and stuff. Did we find any rope? Well, thankfully there's no hunger meter. It's kind of nice to have one game where you're not starving yourself, but I think that might come along the way it's going now. We can actually drop the stuff up. There's no weight condition at current time. This is early access. Those things could change, I guess, as we progress. Uh, we do have bypass kits still making window patches. We're doing really good, and our goal right now is exactly that, to head out to the food supplies in the bar area where they ate. So we're going to be heading out there. And that is going to be right over here. So we're here. We're going to have to head ourselves all the way down. And there's also a little bridge here. That's nice. All right. Science Center, garage. Lots to do. And there's also the water facility right afterwards. And there's a greenhouse down below. So lots to visit. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys like this, don't forget the like button. It's always very much appreciated. This is Edge for Gimmage. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.